Hello everyone, um, Sammy Potter back here again with another Minecraft video. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be showing you something I've been working on since I um, made Haggard's Hut and Aragog and the start of the Forbidden Forest. Um, as you can see I've made a Quidditch pitch. Um, ever since the day I made that, well ever since a few days after I made that, um, I've been working on this and it's taken me all that time, um, so, yep, this is it guys, um, and this particular game is Slytherin vs Gryffindor as you can guess by the colours, um, so S over there for Slytherin, G over there for um, Gryffindor, and I'll give you a tour of everything. Um, so here is red, red and yellow represents Gryffindor all the way up this wall until Slytherin is here. Um, I just thought that would look pretty cool instead of having Gryffindor here as well um, as it would just look quite plain going all the way around from there. Um, and then these are made from fence posts, two fence posts and then start with two um, two wood planks here and then it just goes up and round um, and I've done that for over here only this one starts off with one and goes straight up so that the side hoops are smaller um, at first I put this one back one here but it looked a bit off so I brought them both forward to the same um, level as this one. Um, and then the Quidditch pitch, if you go and have a look, um, if you go and have a look at the first film, you'll see the bit where wood, I think it's wood, I'm not sure if it's the first film actually, um, he falls off into the sand. Um, so the sand all the way around here, um, it's completely equal the whole way around, apart from in the middle here, um, what there's one over. This one comes. This one comes over a bit further here, and then the, this one here comes over a bit further as well, just to make it um, even, uh, evenish anyway. Then you have the circle in the middle, um, and this is all just wool. The whole way around, though, all the white is wool. Um, and then I'll show you inside. And this is just wood. I started off making wood the whole way around. Um, two spaces from the edge, so that I have enough space to do colour. Um, and this is the first Gryffindor. Now this is the fifth Gryffindor. Um, I'll show you the first ones first. In fact, I think they're over here. Um, okay, let's go on. Um, so this is Gryffindor seating number one. Um, it's fenced to the ladder, and then I made a whole um, fence going all the way up, so you don't fall off or anything. You can just move about, and you don't need to worry about falling off. Um, then glowstone all the way up to light it. Um, don't think torches would have been good enough. And then here I put a. Uh, um, not sure what this is called actually. I'll just remind myself. Trap door at the top of every single one, all of them. Um, and then on the sides where the colour is, I put fences starting 1, 2, up 3, up 4, and then up 5 and 6, um, and then the roof is the same. Um, just show you quickly. So this goes yellow, red, and it goes up and along here. Um, and then I made a flag, Gryffindor flag. Um, as you can see, the flags over there are really blowing that direction over there, and this one's blowing that direction. But um, I think it looks stupid once I make these go over there or them go over here, so I just left it, um, as I think it looks much better. Um, I suppose I could make these come out here, and that get up there. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. Do that later. Um, 
And then this is the exact same, they're all the exact same. So this is, when you walk into this one, you go left to the ladder, and you walk into the next, the first Slytherin one, you go left to the ladder. When you walk into this one, you go right, um, you go right here, to the ladder, um, and I'll show you the reason for this in one second. Um, and then this is just the same as the other end. Um, only this one is shorter so you can see the goals from low down. Um, I'll show you inside this. Let's go to the right. Goal seating. Um, it's just the exact same. Only it's a bit smaller. Um, and it's, le it's um, shorter. Le le width, if you know what I mean. Um, like this one is 10. I think it is, and the these ones over here are 12. Um, and then, and here is number 5, 4. Slytherin, left. This one goes to the left as well. I'll show you this in a second. This one goes to the right. Um, that is the reason for the left, left, right, right. Um, this one goes to the right too. Um, and the reason these go to the right is because here is being used. Um, if I was to break these blocks, you would see um, redstone and um, a few other things. And the reason for that is, and these are all covered. These are all glowstone too. Um, is this is the Slytherin changing room? Slytherin changing room. Slytherin team only beyond this point. Um, this is the exact same on the other side. As you can see over there, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so let's go in. I'm sorry that sounded strange there. Um, um, so this is the changing room. I haven't put much in here apart from a few tables, uh, a chair, two chairs actually. Um, no, sorry, there's quite a few chairs. Um, with signs on the side to make it look like an armchair. Um, this is just a fence block with a pressure pad on top. Um, and then you can see pistons here. And when you pull this, I'll show you what happens. It pulls the block in. It pulls these blocks in, and then two piston, four pistons behind pull t two of these. And these two, um, see if I can get and I'll have a sh I'll show you quickly, um, how this all works. Um, so, here, this one powers this one. These are on full delay. This one powers this block, which powers this. And that goes directly into that. Same with this. And then we have, um, full delay here. And then redstone, which goes down into here. Um... And this is where it all works from. Um, this is, I can't get round there. This redstone here goes up and round and it comes up to the, sorry, it goes up and round to the lever that's in here. Um, and then this works as when both switches are equal, the door will close. Um, it's a secret door, that's what's cool about it. You can't see it when you're out on the pitch. Um, I'll show you what happens out on pitch. So, out on pitch you have open and closed leather and changing room. When you hit that, it shoves the pistons out and then it shoves the pistons and these out, these two blocks, the white and green. And then the pistons are activated by redstone and behind these blocks, which then powers these out of the way. Um, there's a delay on these as well, in case it shoves it too early and it pushes um, some blocks out or something goes wrong. Um, so I'll show you what happens. And then you no idea there's a door there, because it's just the same. Um, so that is that. Um, the redstone runs under here, right round and behind the the wooden thing on the left you saw a minute ago that we went inside and then over here is the exact same 
um, only a different colour. It's actually the exact same. You'll see in a second once I come in. Everything is the exact same apart from the lever, which is on the left side this time. Um, so when you pull that, same happens with the door. Um, same again. As you can see. Um, so, yep, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Um, I know there's a lot of other Quidditch pitches on YouTube, but this is my own version and I think it's probably one of the most accurate I've seen. Um, so, yep, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Any questions, then just leave a comment. Thanks very much.